Welcome all grade 6 students to the Science Nest YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the lesson number 3, Water as a Natural Resource. You know the water is the most important natural resource given to us by the nature. Let's identify the states of the water. There's an activity uh, you have to take ice cubes and put the ice cubes into the test tube. Then heat the test tube as shown in the figure. Then what are the observations? When ice cubes are heated, they turn into liquid water. When further heated, water turns into vapor. Then the conclusion is water exists in three physical states as ice, liquid water and water vapor. In this picture, you can observe the three physical states of the water. These are ice cubes, it is the solid form and this is water, it is the liquid form and this is the water vapor, it is in the gaseous form. Let's identify the states of water furthermore. First, the water in solid state. Glaciers are example. Ice is another example and snow is another example for the solid state of the water. Water in the liquid state. River, well, sea, tank. These are the examples for the liquid form of the water. Water in gaseous state. Examples, steam and water vapor. Now we are going to test whether there is water vapor in the atmosphere. This is the activity. Fill half of glass with water and observe the outer surface of the glass after some time. After that, put some ice cubes into the same glass and close it with the piece of cardboard. Observe the outer surface of the glass after some time. This is the observation. Water vapor in the atmosphere condenses and can be seen in on the outer surface of the glass. But what is the atmosphere? What is the atmosphere? What is the atmosphere? What is the atmosphere? What is the Conclusion There is water vapor in the atmosphere. There are three types of water according to the availability. First type is the precipitation. Rain is one type. Next type is snow. And the next type of the precipitation is hail. And sleet is another type of precipitation. The second type of water according to the availability is the surface water. Examples are waterfall, tank, sea, oceans and rivers. The third type is groundwater. Groundwater can be seen in wells and springs. Why does the sea water taste salty? Many things are dissolved in seawater. Sodium chloride is a one type of salt dissolved in seawater. These salts are the reason for the salt taste of the seawater. And salt is produced in saltans by vaporizing seawater. Saltans in Sinhala we call it as Lunulevayan. There are another three types of water based on the salinity. That means based on the salt level. First type is the fresh water. The amount of salt dissolved in fresh water is very low. The examples for the fresh water resources are rivers, waterfalls and wells. Second type is marine water. The amount of saline or salt dissolved in marine water is very high. Examples seas and oceans. Next type is the brackish water. The amount of saline or salt dissolved in brackish water is less than marine water but higher than the fresh water. Example is the lagoon. 
let's move to learn the importance of water for the human activities first one for industries including the agriculture the second one for sanitary purposes like bathing washing clothes the third importance for household activities fourth one for transportation fifth one for leisure and the sixth one for water related sports like swimming next one to generate electricity in the hydropower stations the electricity is generating by using the water so to learn the importance of water for the existence of life the first one the water helps to transport nutrients throughout the body all the nutrients dissolve in water and transport throughout the body for plants to absorb minerals the minerals in the soil dissolve in water and they get absorbed into the plants and for plants to be erect erect means straight plants are to killing in the water help karana for photosynthesis water is a constituent in this photosynthesis process and for cooling the body as a medium of living that means habitat uh, for fish the living medium is water and to digest food as an excretory medium of animals the excretory materials re remove from the body by dissolving in water water is of limited resource there are many gift uh, from the nature and the water is very important natural resource that is given by the nature to the us but uh, water covers more than 70% of the earth's surface uh, but the percentage of water that can be consumed that means the percentage of water that we can use is 0.01% in this diagram you can see 97.41 percentage can be seen in seas and oceans and 2.58% of water can be seen in solid state and only 0.01% of water can be consumed by us next topic we are going to learn is water pollution water pollution means addition of waste materials to water till it becomes unsuitable for consumption that is the water pollution these are the methods of the water pollution emission of agrochemicals and chemicals to the water bodies addition of polythene and plastic to water bodies releasing of chemicals and impure water from factories releasing of waste materials and impure water to water bodies washing and bathing in water bodies from these methods water get polluted this pollution of surface water affect the ground water too that means the surface water absorbed into the ground then the poisonous chemicals in surface water are added to the ground water too as ground water is used to drink these poisonous chemicals enter into the human body these poisonous chemicals cause many serious illnesses such as cancers kidney failures and there are so many other diseases because of these chemicals finally i want to tell you protect this limited resource for the future generation thank you for watching subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to watch more videos related to you